Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and welcome to my channel, Erin Reed Bakes. This is part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber Hop. Today we're going to learn how to make this really, really cute shaker card that is just so adorable. Don't forget, links are down below for all the supplies. Jump to the next person when you are done. And if you leave a comment on this video, you have a chance to win a couple of prizes, which I will be announcing as we go along with the video. So let's get started. So I have laid them down on my eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock because we're gonna run this through a special die cutting machine, which is one of the prizes. So if you leave a comment, you have a chance to win the die cutting machine. We're gonna be seeing here in a minute. The stamp set for Hello Spring is super, super, super cute. Here you can see all the little fun pieces. So I'm gonna be using two of the big flowers and we're gonna just do everything on one page here. So I'm going to stamp two of the big flowers. There we go. Oh, well, we're going to end up blending that in. So I'm not too worried about it if it doesn't look perfect here. And then one of the smaller flowers. There we go. And then we're going to change out and we're going to add in a center. So for one of the centers of the big flower, we're going to have this little starburst piece. So we're just going to cut. Actually, we're going to do it in this one. A little starburst piece. That's so like a little center. And there's a bunch of different centers in here. We're gonna add another one here for one of our, what I would call, I don't know, loopy flowers. And then there's another version that we're gonna add right here. So you have all these different centers that you can add into your flowers to make them kind of cool and fun. So everybody is a little bit different. Now it's time to blend. I wanna give these a color. So instead of actually getting markers out, we're gonna be using some blending. And this blending is from using the Catherine Pluer, which is the other prize on my channel. So if you leave a comment while I'm blending it in, I'm gonna do some dark and some light. So the light ones, I'm just gonna come off to the side and then lightly do it. If you leave a comment, please state if you're international or if you are domestic. So here's the light one, I'm not gonna re-blend. So if you're international or domestic, so USA, domestic, and you have a chance to win a set of Catherine Pooler inks, and you also have a chance to win the crossover two, which you're gonna see in two seconds. So this is the crossover two machine. If you notice, it folds out, it's awesome. I can also fit an entire eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock on here. So all these pieces I have here will die cut out, which are the layers I need for my card. So I'm just gonna run this guy through. You can see everything is die cut beautifully. Now it's just a matter of popping it all out. But we have a couple more things to die cut while I have this machine out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and die cut out these other two. This is the bloom part in our nested die and then that other flower. So I'll run this for super fast. And the last thing we're gonna die cut out is we need to have some double-sided foam adhesive. This is craft foam that's already in a nice big sheet. And what I have right here, this is a deep edge die from Maker's Movement, same company. And it's got a little bit more of a thicker groove. And if you notice, it's already set up to be a bunch of squares. So we're gonna die cut all of our windows and all of our foam pieces with this die and this machine. Now, because our foam is a little bit thicker and we have a little bit of a thicker die, we're gonna dial up our dial just a little bit, meaning that the two rollers and everything is gonna be going through is just a little bit wider, and then just run that through again. And you can definitely save the rest of this foam for something else. And then look, you have all of your fun layers and they can all pop apart. So you have different dusting. We'll play with this and we're gonna be using some pieces out of this. So we have one last little thing we're gonna do before we start assembling everything together. And that is going to be inking up our edge. So I wanna have this color, this beautiful tutti frutti color from Catherine Pooler kind of showing up in another spot besides just the flowers. And so we are going to just ink the edge. You're just gonna see a tiny bit of this. Just use a dauber and rub it on. It just gives it that little pop of something. Same thing for here. Instead of trying to find a perfect match for a piece of paper, I'm just inking my paper to give me that exact match of a color. And if there's different shades of it, all cool because we already have made different shades for our flowers. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp and it says live life in full and then we have the word bloom. So instead of, I could have stamped it and then die cut it, but I find this tends to be a little bit easier because I find this works a little bit better. Now we got all our pieces die cut out and this is the order they're gonna go and then the shaker bit on top. We're gonna add some foam pieces. So as I said before, these all pull apart. Now the biggest one is just a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna save that for another card down the line. And the one that's just a little bit smaller down. And I do not wanna have a big gap in the middle. So I'm gonna take one of these smaller pieces and use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive using my Xyron here. And so first layer goes down, just that little pop of color, that little something extra. And then we add our foam adhesive, our border here. Super simple, it's already double-sided adhesive, pops that down, just adds a little bit of something here. And because it's all cut from the same exact foam sheet, the height is identical. First stitch layer goes on nice and centered. 
and it is there. Now we're gonna add that little pop of black. That is the base of our cards. That's just the beautiful layers that we have there. So we're just gonna push that off to the side. Now we're gonna start working with our shaker element. All right, so when I was die cutting these out, if you notice, I have the two windows. I did not use the one that was in the middle. I actually skipped one to give me a bigger window for our shaker elements. So it just works a whole lot better. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my acetate. Now this acetate comes from Maker's Movement. It's got the blue on there to let you know that it's still gonna pull that cling film off. Just cut the sheet size that you want. And this is my little tip to you. In a corner that you're not gonna see to get that cling film off, go ahead and rub with a thumbtack or a paper piercer or something. Just get that stuff off there. And then you can pull. And it's okay if you kind of ding it. So now I know this is why I love the blue because you can still see it. Oh, there's another side to it. Pull that off. We're gonna place our acetate on there first. This is my Xyron sticker maker. Go ahead and take this, pop this whole frame through, pull it and rub, 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 peel off the top. I think sometimes the hardest part is just find the plastic edge to peel off. <laughs> there it is. Take your clear acetate and place this on top. It's okay if there's a little bit of a border that's gonna come around because we're gonna end up placing this as our background to it later. So now we have our acetate. Next, we're gonna be placing down our foam. So just take off one layer of the foam. We don't need this one because that one was too small. You gotta pick one that's just big enough so that it fits within your borders. And look, it's perfect fit. I love that. So it already has the foam layer, it's cut, it's perfect. You don't have to worry about having any edges that are not there, so it's awesome. This one was too small and you would be able to see it. This is the one that nested inside of it and you'd be able to see that foam and I don't want to. So if I use the one that's a little bit bigger, hence a little bit bigger of the window, it works great. I think it's awesome. It's just super, super simple for that. Now it's time to fill it with some fun goodness. So I have all kinds of yummy things. I'm gonna put, I love putting glitter in there for two reasons. And actually somebody asked me this question earlier. It's like, why do you always put glitter in there? Well, for one reason, because if there happens to be any little bit of sticky just along the edges there, the glitter will stick to that and then your bigger pieces won't stick. So I'm gonna use pieces that are the similar colors. So this is one that's from Maker's Movement. They're confetti shaker sprinkles, but it's a huge array of colors. All I did is I pulled out the two colors that matched. So we're gonna pop those in there. I also had some dew drops left over and some clear beads. So that's all this. I feel like I'm in a baking show that's got like, oh, my cup full of all the ingredients I've already done. <laughs> Look, ta-da, it's done. It's awesome. Some other fun beads. This is the best way I love doing shakers as I will just start pulling out all the little bits and pieces that I have left over in my stash. Sequins, you know, I know some people are kind of purist about what they put in there, but to me, I'm just like, if it's the color, it looks cool, it shakes, it's awesome. This is another favorite that I love to put in there. Just, it makes a cool sound when it shakes. It helps jingle everything together, which I think is awesome. This is called Diamond Dust. It rocks, let me tell you. And then peel off your little layer here, very, very carefully. Try not to shake it or bump it. And then we did die cut one other square that was a little bit bigger and that fits right here. And it's totally cool. I love that it's got a little bit of an extra border because now I've got this foam, which is what's gonna stick on our card. I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive right here just so it doesn't have, it has a little bit of extra adhesive to make everything stick. Now let's put it on our card. So there's a little shaker. See, it becomes like this shaker element that you just find. You place exactly where you want to on your card and boom, there it is. So now you have this cool shaker card and all we have to do is add our embellishments. All right, so I gotta run through these, all these little items, go through a sticker. I'm gonna speed this up. These two little pieces I actually had left over from a ephemera set, do I say that, die cut set, whatever. It was like the last couple little pieces. They fit perfectly, I just love the look of them. So I'm gonna use them, use up your stash, I think it's great. And then just pop everything else into your Xyron and then I'll show you how to assemble it. everything on here I'm gonna tuck this little in bloom if you notice through here you got a little bit of time with the adhesive before it fully sets and then it's gonna run across and kind of go on top play with it you got a little bit of room I just thought it was kind of a fun thing this goes down first and just right kind of in the top here right there I don't want to push it down too far this side I can go ahead and put down make sure I want it exactly don't push down on the B side yet because we're gonna start putting in our flowers 
I want to put the darker flower and kind of tuck it into here. And it just kind of sticks off the edge, totally cool. We're going to end up kind of twiddling a little bit of the back in a minute. We're going to get our longer die cut piece. So just kind of nestle this in the top there. We're going to take our smaller flower and it goes under the bottom side of the bee. Don't push it down because we've got to put our other little ferny piece down here too. And then we have our final flower. So just take and cut a portion of your flower off. And I'm going to cut the portion that I kind of messed up on the stamping and the die cutting. Totally however you want to do that. And then just nestle that underneath. And there you go. Super cute little shaker cards using lots of little fun elements that you may have already in your stash on the inside of your card. I just love shaking them with really pretty sentiments and just clean and simple. Lots of fun layers. Big window to hold lots of stuff. Inks from Katherine Pooler, stamp and die sets from Makers Movement. And please don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love subscribers. Subscribers are awesome. The whole point of this entire Save the Crafty YouTuber hop is to help support all of our fellow crafters and YouTubers by watching their videos, giving them watch time so they can get monetized. So spread the love. It would be awesome. Leave a comment, international or domestic, meaning USA, for your chance to win the Katherine Pooler inks and the Crossover 2 machine. And thanks so much. Thumbs up. I'd love a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again later. Bye everybody.